Welcome today to this webinar. We, they, we are going to be talking about metrics and goals in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Um, the introduction that we are going to have on, for this webinar is that basically CRM already has a model, uh, a goal metrics uh, model that is going to be um, allowing you uh, to define uh, basically some indicators, some metrics, and, and some elements that are going to allow you to, to, to have some measure about your business. Um, there are two types of metrics. Uh, basically, you're going to have amounts and, 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 and counts. So amounts are everything that you can summarize, like for example, opportunities, like for example, quotes. And the other things that, that you could count, like for example, number of cases, number of opportunities, and number of things. Uh, basically, the idea or the main objective here is try to define where are going to be my, my goals in my company. And after define those goals, uh, try to assign those goals to the people. So it means that uh, you are going to have um, um, a, a group of goals and a group of people that are going to be related. And later you are going to have um, the elements uh, to, 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 to define indicators with. Um, the agenda for today, we're going to be reviewing some goals. And after that, we are going to be doing some roll-ups queries. And then uh, we are going to be reviewing how to define a specific goal. That's the main structure of the, of the presentation. The first thing is going to be goals and metrics. So uh, let's, let me be, be showing in directly in the CRM how to, how to go there. So if you enter to the CRM, you're going to have, uh, like for example here, you are going to have three elements here, like for example, goals, goals and metrics, and then you're going to have uh, roll-up queries, okay? So the first uh, element that we are going to be reviewing today are going to be the goal metrics. That is the first one that you need to define. The goal metrics is what exactly do you want to, do you want to uh, review? Like for example, number of products units or number of opportunities of number of cases. So let's define a goal metric here. So the first thing is that you need to click on here. Let's say that you could define a number of close uh, of result cases, for example. Okay, so I'm going to be defining here a metric and I'm going to say that is going to be a count, okay? And that's it, you just need to save it. And then you need to define the rollup fields. So the rollup fields are, are going to allow you to define what exactly do you want to summarize or what exactly do you want to count. So for example, in this case, you are going to be counting the number of cases that are resolved. And based on that information, you could define your specific, your specific goals. So uh, this, okay. for a moment, I'm going to be showing you what exactly we need to define. We need to define the name of the goal metric and we need to define the type. The type could be amount or basically for money and the account and, and, and counting just to come situations to come records to come um, elements so you need to define the metric tag and after that you need to define uh, amount of data type it depends of the of the of the data net the metric type that you define this option is not available if you choose count this is just available if you define um, uh, amount okay and track a stretch target, select this checkbox if you want to metric to track additional target on the primary goal, okay? So basically, this is, this is the configuration that you need to do to define a goal metric. And the later, you need to define what exactly do you want to summarize or what exactly do you want to, uh, for example, let's we'll say that it's going to be actual and it's going to be cases, for example. Let me try to find control cases. Cases, okay. And then you need to define what do you want. Let's say that you want to summarize count and early information provided. And you need to define a day field that is going to be the 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 the, the, the field that is going to represent the, the the period. So, for example, the resolution day, okay. So here, I'm just defining the goal metric, but I'm not defining who has the goal or what's the period of time that I'm going to be reviewing. I'm just defining the goal metric, okay? So that's the first step, the first step, the goal metric. What do you want to summarize? What do you want to count, okay? Uh, 
Later, you need to define the rollup query. What's the rollup query? What, how, what's the criteria that you want to summarize? Or how do you want to summarize that? Like, for example, that, that, that's the thing that I already did here. So you need to define here what exactly is the condition that you want to apply. So for example, here, I'm, I'm just telling, okay, I'm going to review cases and I'm going to be reviewing the solved cases, okay? So how to define this? I need to define a name. I need to define an entity type and then I could define an owner if, if I want it, okay? Let's enter here and review the roll-up square. Like, so let's create one, uh, like for example, um, number of cases. Okay, and I'm going to be defining here that I want to, let me select case again. Okay, so here there is no condition, but here I want to specify what are the conditions that I want to apply. So I know that in the first way, I mean, the goal metric, I already defined that I want to see the, the resolved cases, but here probably I want to define a little bit more specific, like for example, uh, let me see a status reason. Uh, for example, resolve a problem resolve or information provide. For example, let's say that it's going to be this, this, like for example, this one, information provider, you could select here, both of them, okay? And you could add additional information, like for example, I mean, probably you want one of these ones, but additionally, you want to review in a specific country or for a specific company, so you could define a specific criteria here, okay? Okay, so you need to define the goal of metric, and after that, you need to define the roll up queries that basically are the information that you have it here. Uh, in the query section, add the criteria of the query that you want to um, review, like for example, the owner, the status, the actual close day, so some other criteria that you want to include. And after do that, uh, you will be able to define the goal. What is exactly the goal? The goal is the combination and, and, the, and the main element here is going to be the goal. So let's define a goal from the beginning. Let's say that I want to review number of cases, number of cases. Let's say that is going to be for me, Jorge. Uh, let's say that is going to be uh, in, in this quarter, uh, I'm sorry, prepare two and something like that. That's my goal, okay? So what's the metric? Uh, here I need to re I need to relate the, the metric. So the, the metric is going to be number of resolved cases. So it means that I already define my goal. I define what's going to be the metric, and I need to define who's going to be the person that I want to just be reviewing. Like for example me, or for example some other person. Uh, let's say that is going to be some other person. Like for example Carolina. So I'm going to be defining here that Carolina is going to be the person that is going to be related to this goal. And I'm going to be the manager, for example. Okay, so I need to save. And after that, I need to continue defining the, the goal, like for example, time period. So I need to define the period of time that I want to be measuring. I could use the fiscal period if I want it. Or if you want, you could define a custom period here. So you could define the specific dates that you want to follow. My suggestion is try to review the fiscal period to try to have the same periods for everybody. But if in your company, for example, you define that your indicators are going to be like for commercial, are going to be in semester, but for the technical team is going to be in, in quarters, you could do it. I mean, you need to define these in terms of people. So, uh, for example, in this case, I'm going to be defined that is going to be the fiscal period. I need to define the target, like, for example, number of cases. Let's say that this person in this quarter needs to close um, 90 cases. I don't know, a number that you define. My suggestion, I guess, is try to define a little bit higher. And after a, after a quarter or after a month, try to refine and try to modify that. Uh, after that, you could define child goals if you want it. You could define a, a main goal and after that define a specific uh, goal. Like for example, if you have an, an annual an annual metric or an annual goal, you could define letters that you could have child goals if you want it. Okay, 
here basically you already defined the, the metric uh, you already defined the goal you want to recalculate or you want to weigh the current status you could just click here and recalculate and the system is going to validate the condition it's going to validate the goal metric and it's going to tell you what's the current situation it's going to tell you okay for the moment it has zero and something like that additionally this is the general goal but additionally if you want to just filter a little bit more you could relate the rollup query so what it means that you could define you could define that you are going to have the goal and you could define a goal metric and that's it but additionally if you want to include a specific rollup query if you want to define an, an additional filter you could use rollup query but it probably if you don't want you could just leave it like in blank and that will be all okay uh, additionally, you could define some other condition that I'm going to be explaining to you, but basically uh, you could define here uh, uh, rollup only form for, from child goals. For example, if you define a goal metric, probably you don't want to define specific conditions for the goal, so you just need to define the condition for the child goal, so you could just change this one to yes. And additionally, you could define um, uh if if you're going to be for the owner of the metric or if going to be for everybody that's another condition that you can define here okay so basically this is the goal uh let me try to review if there is something that i probably didn't mention basically you need to define the name you could define a pattern goal if you want to just link the goals you could do it as well um, the goal metric uh, is going to be defined in here and after that is going to be the owner okay basically does that's the configuration you could define here you could define here the target the target is in terms of number or in, in terms of money or in terms of integer that's the goal uh, this stretched target if the goal metric you are using as track stretch target selected you will also see one of the following fields so if you define that it's going to be amount you could define the stretched target the stretched target means if, if the metric is going to be uh, this field is available if the goal metric tab is amount and the amount data tab is decimal. So you could be reviewing the progress of the of the metric, just enabling and activating the, the stretched target. Um, uh, when you define the goal, you could define when exactly do you want to summarize the information. So basically, you could define the actual value or you could define in progress value. That information is going to be defined in the goal. So as you can see here, when I define, I define here that is going to be in, in the actual one. So it's going to be just summarizing or counting the current situation. Okay, so basically, that's all the elements that you need to keep in mind when you want to define uh, a, a goal. Is is actually is pretty simple in terms of the configuration. The the the, the challenge is going to be how to define the, the the goal in terms of of the results that you want to get. But basically, you could define here whatever. It's not related to a specific model, so it's not related to sales or to or to cases or it's not related to marketing, you could define number of tasks, number of emails, number of opportunities, number of cases. I mean, you could define wherever you need in terms of the combination that your company requires. So basically, it's three models, just define the goal. Uh, the CRM by default includes some specific goals here, like for example, there are some other goals in terms of money, like for example, this one is going to be revenue, uh, if you review here, you will find that uh, it's going to be an amount that is going to be summarizing. So when you tell the system that you're going to summarize, you need to define if it's going to summarize money, if you is going to summarize decimal, if it's going to summarize integers. And if you can see here the rollup fields, you could define what exactly do you want to include. Like for example, in this case, it's including one opportunities, but additionally, is summarizing open opportunities in progress. So it's going to represent the information like the actual one that is going to be the one because you already won the opportunity. But in this section or in the section of the in progress is going to be summarizing all the open opportunities. So 
it's a really good idea to try to review the examples here as well because I'm going to help you to understand a little bit more. Uh, but basically, you need to define the goal metric and then define the goal that is going to be the relation of the goal metric, the relation of the person, the period of time, and additionally, is going to be the target that you want to summarize. Uh, for example, the child goals are not required, but um, it's something that is available there. Okay. So, for example, here is something interesting. When when I define here the the goal metric, as as I showed you before, we define here that we are going to be summarizing two things. Okay. So it means, and then the result is that if you enter here to the to the goal area, the system is going to show you two fields because you need to define or you could define rollout per field. So if you include more additional fields, uh, you are going to have here more additional functionalities. Okay, so this is something that is important to review in detail, but it, the only way to review it is, is to do it by yourself. I mean, I know that the explanation is like the guy, but basically everybody needs to review it and do it by itself. So my suggestion is uh, try to review it. Probably the best way to do it is try to create a trial instance of the CRM and then try to do your own testing. This is my email. The idea is that try to review the, the, the configuration, try to review the documentation. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to be sending you the presentation if you require. I'm going to be answering all the questions that you wanted. But basically, and I know this is uh, uh, probably on a small topic, it's something that uh, just have three options, just to find the goal, just to find the metric, and just to find the roll-up queries. So it's something that you need to try by yourself. Please do it. And if you have any additional question, uh, please let me know. Uh, this is, I mean, there are some webinars that take so much because it, the topic probably is, is, is a little bit more complex. But this one is a topic that is going to be simple that you need to validate by yourself. And after that, uh, just do your own testing. And, and if you have any question or we can help you with something, please let us know. Thanks a lot for your time and I hope you see you in the next corner.